Hi, this is Mark Tube speaking. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So, so Canelo Alvarez is suing DAZN and Golden Boy. Okay, now we know that there's been a bit of tension between uh, Canelo and Golden Boy for quite some time, but for all intents and purposes, it kind of looked like that these guys had sorted out their beefs, whatever it is that was going on behind um, closed doors. But either way, um, Canelo is now suing DAZN and Golden Boy for breach of his contract, which is guaranteed at $35 million per fight for this 11 fight deal. Of course, the first fight being 15 million, and then from then on in, 35 million for each and every fight that he has on DAZN. And with everything that's been going on with the pandemic and everything in the world, obviously DAZN are looking at Canelo going, but you taking on, for example, the guy that you want to take on for, this, for the vacant WBC super middleweight title in Avni Yildirim, that is not worth $35 million. It ain't worth it, okay? But at the end of the day, this is not down to Canelo. This is why he's also suing Golden Boy, because Golden Boy are not getting him the fights that would justify this price tag, okay? So he's saying that it's not just DAZN who's to blame for not honoring the contract that we have, but Golden Boy as well, because they're not giving not only me, the fights that I want to give the fight fans, but you're also not giving them to DAZN, which is causing this conflict. Okay, so if that makes some kind of sense. Now, is Canelo, well, can he win this one? I mean, potentially, again, what's in the contract? We don't know what's inside the contract. All we know from the outside looking in is $35 million per fight. That's what we know. And there's, what, um, eight fights left remaining on his contract, or seven or eight fights, whatever it is. So he's saying that I want all that money that you promised me, and I'm not gonna be fighting on your platform anymore. Now, is that likely to happen? Not really. At the end of the day, if you want pain, you have to give. Now, I understand what DAZN are talking about. Why would we pay you 35 million to go fight Avni Yildirim? No one wants to see that. Plus for the fact the world has been going through a bit of turmoil, if you're, unless of course you've been living under a rock, you'd know that, then again, there's gonna be some problems. But again, Golden Boy, apparently they haven't been looking at alternative broadcasters for Canelo. They promised to do it and they haven't done it. But ultimately, I think Canelo, should he take some kind of drop for his next fight? I think if you're fighting a Avni Yildirim, then yes, you should take some kind of drop. And as far as what we hear, Canelo, he was quite willing to take a 30% drop, which is quite good, I think. But Avni Yildirim, that's a terrible, terrible, terrible fight. Absolutely terrible. If I was his own, I would not be happy paying him 35 million. If I wouldn't be happy paying him a couple of million to be taken on at Avni Yildirim. And to be brutally honest with you, but if Golden Boy are not getting Canelo these fights, as in Canelo, he's willing to fight Billy Joe Saunders. He's willing to fight Callum Smith. He's willing to um, have a Triple G third fight and all those kind of things. So what is it that Golden Boy are not doing? Why is it that suddenly Avni Yildirim is on the table? Why is... Billy Joe Sauna's not on the table. Why is Cam Smith not on the table? And again, to zone, they have a lot to do with this as well. At the end of the day, Golden Boy can only offer so much money to certain fighters because Canelo has his guarantee. So if the zone are not willing to pay that extra million or maybe even a couple of million to get a Callum Smith, to get a Billy Joe Saunders, again, that's on the zone. But it all goes back to the contract, doesn't it? What's in the contract? Is it a case of Canelo can fight whoever he wants over the course of this 11 fight deal? If that's the case, then sorry to zone, you, you bang out of luck. Unless you stipulated something within that contract where we can give the red flag or the green flag depending on, on your opponent. In other words, we to zone are forms of matchmakers. If that's not in your contract and you have given Canelo free reign to have 11 fights against whoever it is that he wants, sorry, you're going to have to cough up pandemic or no pandemic. Okay, so anyway, we'll have to watch this space as to what happens with Canelo, Golden Boy and DAZN. Now, personally, I think even if he was to go over and potentially fight on an ESPN or a Fox or a Showtime, whatever it may be, or even back on HBO, who knows, right? Is he going to get that kind of money anyway? No, of course he's not. Of course he's not. But you know what? It's a win-win for him if he can somehow get this remaining 250 million, whatever it is, 220 million to end his contract with DAZN and then go fight on other networks. Well, all he's doing is just increasing 
what he's already getting. So it's actually a very good business move, really, from that point of view. Anyway, we'll have to watch this space, see what happens. Drop your thoughts below about it. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.